So we're in the greenhouse today discussing different plant nutrient deficiency symptoms, and now we're discussing magnesium deficiency. So again, on the left, we have our plant that has all of the nutrients that it needs in the proper proportions to grow healthy. And on my right, we have a plant that's deficient in magnesium. Now magnesium is important for plants because it's a central molecule in chlorophyll, as well as an important cofactor in the production of ATP, as well as ribosome bridging protein synthesis. So uh, we begin to see the deficiency of magnesium uh, appear as a intravenal chlorosis on the leaf margins uh, and becoming yellowish to almost reddish purple in color. And this is because the plants are degrading chlorophyll that are in the older leaves uh, so that magnesium can be used in newer growth in younger leaves. And uh, it's degrading chlorophyll because, again, uh, magnesium is a central atom in chlorophyll. Now, again, the older leaves are affected first, so that tells us that magnesium is a mobile nutrient within the plant. And environments that will typically see magnesium deficiency uh, will be uh, soils that are more acidic because magnesium availability within the soil is very pH dependent. Um, so in more acidic soils, magnesium uh, will be leached um, and then unavailable to the plant. Uh, so that's a little bit about magnesium deficiency, uh, kind of short and sweet, and we'll give you a closer uh, look at this uh, purpling or chlorosis of these older leaves.